Good morning, guys. Today we're going to have an awesome opportunity to start your introduction to ecology project. Now, we know that organisms interact in a multitude of different ways in their environment. Not only that, but they also interact with different organisms. So whenever you consider the journey of a bee, you have to consider, okay, it wakes up, and it's like, hey, you know what? I see other bees out there. And so it's going to interact, interact with those bees. But then after it interacts with those bees, it's, it's got a job to do. And so what it does is it goes out and tries to find all different types of nutrients in the form of nectar from flowers. And as a result of this interaction, it's going to be able to spread the pollen so that we can see future flowers and future bees. And so we know that there is a relationship between the bee and the flower itself. But remember that even with this perilous journey of trying to find the flowers and the nectar, you, they have to worry about its natural predator, the wasp. So that whenever it finally comes back to the colony, it's going to contribute that nectar and it's going to be able to make the honey. So essentially what I've done for you is given you an example of an organism and its journey into its environment. And so what I would like you to do is come up with an organism that you can think of. Now, this organism could be an organism that you might see whenever you take a stroll. Or if you're playing Minecraft, you're going around your house, or even if you were looking at Google Earth. The ways in which you choose this activity are limitless. And um, if you shoot me a, a message on Teams wondering, hey, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, then absolutely uh, get in contact with me and we can talk about it. So what you're going to do is you're going to focus on a non-human organism and you're going to explain the role or, in, or the niche that the organism plays in its environment. So is it a autotroph? Is it a heterotroph? If it's a heterotroph, is it a consumer and what type of consumer is it? And there's going to be another PowerPoint associated with all this information so that you're going to have an opportunity to take a look at all this information. So don't feel like you have to know right off the bat what an autotroph is, what a heterotroph is, what a producer is, what a consumer is. So there'll be another video for that. So you're also going to talk about biotic and abiotic factors. These things are going to be really important in making sure that organisms are able to survive in their environment. So you're going to give some examples of that. Now, in terms of interacting with other organisms, there are different ways that we can illustrate that. And one of those ways is going to be a simple food web. And so you can see here on the screen that there is a simple food web with different types of feeding relationships. So it starts with the producer, the phytoplankton. That phytoplankton is eaten by zooplankton, which is eaten by arctic cod, which is eaten by the leopard seal, which then is eaten by our apex predator, the orca. So that is just one feeding relationship that we see, though. And so all these different arrows that you see are different feeding relationships in this really complex network that we see in that marine biome. So that's something that I want you to come up with as well. You don't necessarily have to take a picture of that organism, but you just simply have to know what type of organisms are going to be around that particular one that you're focusing on. So I provided you a checklist of all the things that you want to make sure to include within your, your uh, presentation. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up with a presentation and you're going to eventually video yourself talking about the presentation. So you're going to turn that into Schoology. I'm going to give you a few days to do this because I know it's a, it's a really, really big task. I would choose something that you are comfortable with. So if you're comfortable with playing Minecraft, do that. If you're comfortable with going outside and taking pictures, you're more than welcome to do that. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know on Teams.